doesn't feel right. Oh, it's not going away? It hurts so bad. Isn't that insane? Why is this happening to me? <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Clip of Stop! Ha 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 ha! And welcome back to Beauty Break. <laughs> It's been a hot minute since we have been at this table trying on makeup, so you know we are so excited to be back here trying out some makeup products from one of our favorite places. Fashion Nova! <laughs> um, so this is from Maven Beauty, which is owned by Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova is dabbling into makeup for the very first time, and so it's only right that we take this rite of passage and try it on our faces. This is like another one of those things too where it's not just their makeup, they actually do carry other brands. We have Maven Beauty, which is uh, Fashion Nova, it literally says on there. Then yeah. you have Wander Beauty and it looks like they have Project Look. Also, what's up with this packaging? I expected like a solid black matte case with like Fashion Nova like right here. That's what right, I expected. Right. Now it makes more sense now that I know that they, it's like a different brands into one. But it is interesting that they called it Maven Beauty and not just like Fashion Nova Beauty or Nova Beauty or something like that. Also, all three of these are the same company and yet they look so different. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, this is like some serious like Coachella desert meets like artsy hipster vibes. So like maybe it's like, okay, so Fashion Nova, stay with me. Mm -hmm. Nova is like space, yeah. supernova. So like this explains this. That's it. And once we've dabbled and kind of played with all of these products, we are going to rate Fashion Nova's beauty collection, their products, and some of the other brands that they carry on packaging, pigment, and price, the way we always used to do it when it came to beauty. Um, packaging, packaging, pigment, and price. And then we will do that, of course, using emojis. I think I have to go with Saturn. Uh, all right, well, I want to keep on Cosmuck. Um, I'm going to do the flaming meteor. Let's um, let's get playing with some of this stuff. All right, you guys, we are gonna start with eyes. We are gonna use these Fashion Nova brushes to apply the eye products because they have an entire set of 30 brushes. It has all kinds of brushes, even though they don't have all kinds of products. But it's $188 for this whole set. That's 30 brushes? Oh, it looks like 15. I swear this is 28. Oh no, 29, 30. I'm one of those people who I just don't understand like why there's like four different eyeshadow brushes. How many brushes do you think you use on your whole face? Like do you need 30 brushes? No, there's no way. America, explain! Oh, this one's broken. What do you mean it's broken? It's broke. <laughs> it's broke! This is the, probably the only color I would wear, but I, this is the color that's in every single palette. And this one. It's called Basic B in its most basic shape. It's called Basic B, no wonder. Yeah. My, like, I would say base colors, but not even. Like, these look like sheer, like, pfft. Like, that's what these are. This literally looks like, like, if I was in a theater production and the makeup artist was instructed to make me look ashy. Yeah. That's what they would do. They, like, put it on her elbows. Put it on her knees. Yeah. So it looks like she hasn't had water in yeah. a while. Yeah, it's like the white <laughs> that somehow turns gray on brown skin, yeah. you know? It's not funny. It's really not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with this color right here. I mean, on the brush, it does look like there's more pigment in here than I would have expected, but there is a lot of, uh, fall out on the brush, so we'll see if hopefully there's not a lot of fallout on my skin. It's like the color of ash. Oh my god, that did nothing. <laughs> okay, if you dab, don't sweep. Dab. Dab. Dab, dab. dab. it helps. It dab, helps dab, to dab. dab. It's definitely like showing up, you know, which is very light. That's pretty. What do yeah, you mean? Yeah, I, I dabbed. Ah! After like dabbing a few times, I definitely do think it's buildable. I do like a buildable shadow actually, because then you can decide how bold you want to go with it. The yellow yeah. is actually really nice. I am using the eyeshadow blending brush. I'm using defined eyeshadow, which I wouldn't usually use, but Drew took the only eyeshadow brush <laughs> that I would use. That orangey rust one is actually kind of nice. Oh, <gasps> whoa, it's pigmented. See? Wasn't expecting it to be that pigmented. Look at that. Yeah, That's I still crazy. think it's not like super pigmented, but it is that's nice. Pretty that's that's nice. All right, I'm gonna switch to the glitter ones now. Wow, these are really nice. That's surprising. Oh, you can definitely sweep this one, which I like. Look at these pigments, you guys. Maybe these are. Listen, they're not the best pigments for swatches, but you can at least see. Mm -mm. You can't see that. Mm -mm. Okay. No. No. Nope. It's not best for swatches, but I I like subtle. Wow. I want it to be a little bit brighter, but maybe it's because. 
No. I just don't think it's coming out as bright as I, I, it looks in on the palette, you know? Okay, that didn't show up on my eye at all. Let me try a different color. I'm like, you just have to have, it's like not pigmented at all. Disappointed! Um, okay, so since you can do these eyeshadows wet, I'm gonna get a, one of the cream brushes and use the spray with it. I'm gonna see if this, I mean, it made a slight difference. Not, not what I was expecting though. Oh, it did add a little bit more pigment on mine. Yeah. Okay, so I think for the Maven Cosmic Art, I like our Cosmic Drip. I liked the sparkly ones better. Just yeah. wet your brush and then you'll get more pigment. As for the basic ones, mm, they're basic. So if you want a basic color, that's what you'll get. You basic. Okay, so next we are using Maven Beauty's Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Shane has the blue one, I have the black one. Is it a child box? You broke it. Oh, it exploded. What the hell is this? I'm so confused. So am I. Oh, it was oh, in the cap. stuck in the cap. Yeah, that is the yeah, weirdest Yeah, don't buy thing. that. <laughs> Why would anybody do that? Ew, it's still leaking. Jesus Christ. It's like the little octopus in Finding Nemo. Oh, you guys made me eat. <laughs> also, this is not even that good. Look. You can't see it. There's nothing on my eye. Well, that was disappointing. That's a hell no from me. Damn, and for $14? Yeah, no. All right, should we move on to brow gel? Yeah, hopefully that one doesn't ink on me. So I'm gonna have to say next. Moving on to Wander Beauty's eyebrow gel. Precision gel? Wander Beauty is a brand that's obviously not Maven. It's not Fashion Nova. I've liked what I've tried of theirs. I also feel like Forever 21 used to carry it. I think it's one of those brands that like oh. a lot of stores carry. I'm gonna use the clear gel. Drew is using a brown. Mm -hmm. I like the way this feels actually a lot. I like a little brush. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Yeah. This is nice. I like this too, a lot. Actually, like, nice. you, I cleaned up my eyebrows pretty nicely. Oh, that looks yeah, good. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I already had makeup on, so I wish yeah. I could be like, oh, yeah. But I already did have makeup on. It was just kind of like a little bit of a mess. Like, I took mine off, and this is just... This is the thing. It's not really a gel. It's more of just like a pigment. Well, I guess it could be a gel, because I use an eyebrow wax. I use Patrick Ta's wax. Yeah. So I like that it, like laminates my brows, whereas yeah. this is just like kind of adding color to yeah. it. Let's take, let's do our um, Face. our blush highlighter stuff. Yeah, let's do it. We have their Wander Beauty again. I have double date lip and cheek. Okay, so this is also double both. date lip and cheek. I think they're just two different shades maybe. It's like a duo. So it says a multitasking tinted and clear balm for hydrated lips and cheeks. So the top of it is this uh, pink and then the bottom layer is a Okay, so mine is a little bit more pigmented. It, Jesus Christ, it's not so, I thought it was gonna like be smooth. It was like, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Honestly, it goes on nice with a brush. Are you already doing the lips first? Yeah. I don't like the idea of like a shiny um, blush. Some people really like that though. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's not going away. It's so pink. I literally like barely touched it. I went boop, boop. Oh my God. Uh Okay, well, I don't you like know it's color. pigmented. Let me just, that's all I'm gonna do. To the other side. You just gotta like chill. You gotta chill or else you're gonna look like a clown. I don't like these shades. I don't like the shade on my cheeks. I don't like the shade on your cheeks. What do you mean? <laughs> Taking a break from Wander Beauty. Back to Maven, um, their highlighter. We got the darker shade. It's dripped out. Mm. This is nice. I like, like this. I'm just imagining this with highlighter too. Yikes. <laughs> Orange is nice. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's real pigmented. Oh my god. What is up with everything being so pigmented? Oh my god. This is should help with how the eyeshadow should be. You guys, what the actual? I mean, it's beautiful, but like just put on a little hair. Listen, it does the job. Just don't put on a lot. Oh, Because it'll look like yes. this. <laughs> it's pretty, though. You, where do you put your, your highlighter? Just like on my cheekbone. I always put it right here, right here, on the tip of my nose, on the tip of my lip, on my chin, on your and right here. Damn! Shine bright like a diamond. Wow. Dude, you look so stunning. Hot. <laughs> right? 
Okay, so, so far we have learned that they're lacking in the pigment department with their eyeshadow, but everything else, ooh chow, they have all the pigment in the world. They took all the leftover pigment and they put it in their highlighter. Um, okay, so for lip stuff, Fashion Nova has their Maven lipsticks, and then they also carry that uh, plump and gloss from Project Lip. Mm -hmm. I have in my hand here a Maven Red Velvet. This says it features soft focus pigments and a 3D polymer that locks in color. I have Buena, which is like this. Oh, that's amazing. Shade. Also, I don't. I know you can't pick this up on the camera, but they they have these little tiny. Do you see the pattern? <gasps> Isn't that insane? Oh my god. No, it's so frustrating because you guys won't be able to see it. Oh my god. It's like it's so small that I can barely see it and I'm up this What close. is that? There are these microscopic dots. Yes. That like literally holding it this close to my face, I can tell they're there, but I can't see them defined. Oh, I picked it up. You got it? Oh my god. I am shocked. Oh, that Look is so good. What what machine did that? How did they do that? Ew. That was this. Wait, really? Yeah. But that, per that color looks so good. Look, but the color doesn't look the way it looks. Oh, hell. Why no. is this happening to me? <laughs> <laughs> look at it in my hand and then look at my <laughs> lips. <laughs> it looks like I need help, you know? If your skin tone is mine, don't get it. This is $15. That's like the same as if you were to buy like a MAC lipstick yeah. or a liner, you know? This shade's fine. This it's fine. It's fine. Red. It looks like kid Yeah, red. it's it's fine, but it's not like red. Okay, so there are 20 different colors that they offer on the site. The Buena one straight up looks brown on the site. So just know it's not brown. It looks like this. Um, but just, just, just tread lightly. Pick sparingly. All right, let's move on to Lip Project or Project Lip. Project <laughs> Lip. Which is not Fashion Nova. So these are, these are, these are nice. Uh, it says, warning, this product will tingle. I like the way that sounds. It's plumping. I like a good plump. I like a good plump. <laughs> yeah, it looks better if you don't have anything on. Yeah, way better. This doesn't feel right. I'm concerned as to why yours doesn't, is, are you not having a reaction? No, it is, it is burning. It's starting to burn. So, I've used plumpers before and it, it feels like a nice tingly like mint feeling. This feels like it's like my lips are getting a perm, like it's burning. Does it hurt on the inside of your lips? It hurts everywhere. I like when it tingles, because then I feel like it's working. No, I don't think, I think mine is doing a different thing than yours is doing. Mine feels like I put like rubbed hot Cheeto dust. That's, it feels like spicy, it's yeah, spicy. Yeah. Why is it spicy? So let's talk about this. Let's start with packaging. Yes. I expected way more from Fashion Nova. I did too. With, uh, especially with their eyeshadow palettes. That's like usually where you see brands get the most fun. Yeah. Um, so for packaging, let's take out the Wander and the Project Look. Let's talk about Maven Beauty, right? Okay. This is a freaking five out of five for me. Yeah, I agree. This is like, what? It's a one. I don't like it at all. And this is like, I would give this a one. I would give this like a no, and then I would give this like a five. Uh, so overall, I think I'd have to give it right in the middle at a three, which is sad because I think this is so amazing, but this is so trash yeah. that I have to give it right in the middle. I'm gonna give it a two, to be honest, because like even though this saved it a little bit, it's not saving it enough for me to not like this. All okay, right, well. so pigment, I have a number of different views. So the eyeshadow, where you would want the most pigment, has none. Right. But the blush and the highlighter has all has all of the. But pigment. remember, the blush was Wander Beauty. I think I'd have to give this a one because this being no pigment to all the pigment in your highlight yeah. makes no sense to me. And the pigment and color, just the shade choices of the lipsticks. What? This, it's missing something. They need to like figure it out. I'll give it a two only because I think you can use the highlighter as an eyeshadow. And price this. No, it's way too, it's also overpriced. This stuff is trash. <laughs> if you knock some money off of the brushes, I would say that's the only thing, you know, that's worth it, but it's still not fully worth it for $188. Listen, there are a lot of things you can find at Fashion Nova that you may like. Mm -hmm. The makeup, it probably won't be one of them, in my opinion. Yeah, the I brushes, like the clothes though. way better. All right, you guys, uh, have you tried Maven? Because obviously you know how we feel now, but we want to know how you guys feel. Uh, so drop it down in the comments. And uh, any other makeup collections that you think we need to try on this channel? Click right on over here to watch even more Clever Style and more shenanigans, because there's way more where this came.